Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to start a brand new series. Uh, this is actually Craft to Exile 2. Um, I say this is going to be taking place of Kabamon, and remember Kabamon was just a uh, temporary series anyway. Uh, so this is going to just kind of take the place of that for now. Um, because really haven't been feeling it um and do this uh so kind of wanted to check this out gonna give it a go um not really too familiar with the pack itself just yet i did mess around it in a little single player world for probably a good like five minutes um i'm gonna take this bed uh, but i know i do want wood just because you know that's every basic minecraft start there eventually we'll make it up to that uh, floating island there So again, I have no idea what this pack's about, what it, um, like what your primary objective is. I know we have a little quest book here, um, so I'm gonna follow that the best I can. Uh, hopefully it's a decent quest book and tells me everything I need to know. Uh, but we'll definitely see. I am debating on Settling down somewhere in the village or near the village just because it's just do that, take the bread. All of these buildings are pretty small though. Ooh, I got carrots. Oh, excellent. We're getting cobblestone already. Three minutes in. I believe that's all the houses. I don't want them to all perish because of uh, my mistakes. I mean, could I just get them houses? I could block them off. Just until I'm able to get them moved. Ooh. Rice grains, cool.
you. Excellent. Get in there. Got a couple more. I mean, we don't need every villager to live. We have at least, I mean, if I just leave those two. And I guess I could leave this one too, because that'll give me three to start with. Yeah. All right, so kind of like how this one's on the a little bit of an outskirts of it uh, everybody else is kind of like grouped over there i think this is where we're going to uh start for now i don't have a lot of room in here but i can definitely make do uh, so let's place our bed set our spawn um, so we're gonna start reading through this. Um, welcome to Craft of Exile 2, a highly customized mod pack that turns Minecraft into an action RPG. The first chapter of Quest Prologue is meant to give you an overview of certain systems introduced in the mod pack that may be different from what you're used to in most Minecraft mod packs. Complete each page of the prologue by clicking the check mark. For more information, visit our wiki. Feel free to join the Discord. Okay. So I did give us more bread and a backpack. Um, there we go. Inventory is pretty full. Can we make a... No. And money by happiness. All right, I'm gonna do that. Well, in this case, money can uh, be used to buy many useful tools and resources. You'll be able to use money to barter for goods with villagers and traders from other mods. Of course, you can also use money to trade with other players. And if you're on a server, purchase claim blocks. You can earn money from killing mobs or looting chests. You can also sometimes sell goods for money with traders. Keep your money safe in your wallet that you receive from the quest. Later on, upgrade the wallet so it can hold more money. Uh, should you need to exchange your money for lower amounts, you can use an ATM. Okay, and that I know we can put in a little bobble spot which says slot wallet, uh, which is down here. Oh, which actually shows up, which is cool. Alright. Character stats. Uh, thanks to mine and slash CTE uh, 2, which is Craft Exile 2, has a fully customized leveling progression system. Killing mobs to earn experience and receive stat points with each level. You can allocate, allocate these points in the main hub by pressing H. In fact, most of the menus will be accessible from this menu wheel. Your player wheel can uh, also be increased via other means such as equipment uh, gear and talent points which we'll cover later uh, stat reset potion my experience uh, this is just talking about party play land claiming golden hoe uh, the talent tree allows for an additional layer of character customization that is found in the mine and slash hub. 
Uh, each level grants you one talent point. You will need to choose your starting position and then allocate points into nodes connected to other nodes you already have. Each node provides bonus for stats and in some cases uh, can alter your core gameplay loop. Um, this is like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, storage solutions. I mean, we're gonna we have our backpack. Crafting table. Logs. First log. Um, anyway, let's uh, open this up. So here this is. So it does show we have points to strength, intelligence, dexterity. Um, so weapon damage, summon health, crit damage, armor, or health regen, armor. I kind of want to go like more of like a mage build if there's like some decent magic in this. Uh, but let's also do a little bit of attack speed. Wallet, waypoints, minimap did. Glasses or fireball requires a mage weapon. So the staff, the diamonds. Ooh, a couple iron we can make a cheap staff add those over there toss everything into here and then we'll also put this on our back I don't meet the requirements for this. Ah, dexterity. It at two. So we need more points before we can do that. I'm going to hold off on all of that. Can't use that just yet. Um, our wallet. So harvesting berries isn't counting for uh, farming experience. Get rid of them. Is 
That, however... Bunch of pigs, creeper. Rare massive spider. Couldn't I, uh, shift break those, uh, couple chests that I did find? That'll give me- oh, and there's a crafting table here. Got a large chest. Oh, and you're out here planting stuff now. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take this chest. I'm gonna just put it here. Crafting table next to it. Everything out of you. Spruce logs, what can I do with those? Not sure why. I mean, does it have to be in a crafting table? Is that why? It does. Okay, interesting. So does that mean we can make our first staff? Alright, you know what? While we're in our little area now, uh, the character menu lets you uh, save and load different characters. It will save all your characters' information except for their gear. You can have up to seven saved characters. Uh, the salvaging menu, menu lets you turn bad blue into useful crafting materials upon pickup. Uh, the classes menu allows character specialization. You can learn skills here and you can improve them with points. In DTE2, you can specialize in two different classes. Two classes. It's good to know. The jewels menu is used once you've allocated uh, any points into jewel sockets. In the talent tree, equip jewels can, equipping jewels can improve your character uh, stats. Um, and additionally, at the bottom of the GUI where the pickaxes are, you can see your profession levels. Okay. Uh, in CTE2, there are three main fighting styles. You can either be a close range warrior, a magic spellcaster, or a long range archer. Uh, this is, of course, a basic gener generalization, as each character can be customized and expressed extensively. Uh, do you want to be a flame-spewing warrior, a necromantic spellcaster, or even a trap-throwing hunter? CTE2 has a lot to offer in terms of character customization. Hopefully you will find the playstyle that best 
do. Uh, so I do want a staff. Uh, in CTE2, you will craft and find many pieces of equipment. These pieces of equipment are not will not provide any stats unless you apply gear uh, stat souls to them. Uh, essentially, imbuing them with mine and slash stats. Gear stat souls can be used on any piece of equipment that shards uh, that shares the same type. For example, the uh, aquaculture and farming delight knives have the dagger type by clicking on the item with a gear stat soul of dagger type. You can apply mine slash stats to the knives. If you want to learn how to craft gear, visit uh, that quest chapter. Grab that. Uh, I assume like that. Yeah, I need to increase our intelligence before we can use that. Open up our wallet, toss those in there. We do have dexterity is up. Does that mean we can use this helmet now? Looks like it. We still just need to increase our intelligence a couple more. Which is not a problem. Let's continue to read through. Uh, combat has been overhauled in Craft to Exile 2. Weapons have animations and combos. You have different properties depending on the type of weapons you wield. Additionally, you can hit Alt to dodge roll, which has a short cooldown. Don't forget about your basic attacks in CTE 2. They are powerful in combat and can be used in conjunction with skills. Just keep in mind that basic attacks consume and acquire energy. You can see how much energy you have in player GI. Give us a zombie spawn egg. I'm gonna keep that safe. Test your new blade and knowledge in combat. Uh, do not summon the creature in the village as Iron Golem may kill your zombie. Also be cautious of, the, cautious of summoning, summoning in daylight. Consider summoning cave. Make sure to allocate your stats before a fight. The weapon have a minimum stat requirement. Wants me to use this. You. Yeah, that we don't have like a bunch of stamina. Oh, there's a bigger village. I might end up moving to that one. I mean, I could just do a little simple... Forget that we do need some kind of light in here. That's where it will stand. Realize it had a pickaxe. Good to know that there's a uh A village there too, so we'll have to look at that. Oh, 
also going to start a nice farm. Okay. So that just gave me experience. Let's uh got one more point. Let's put it into intelligence. Skills require mana or energy and are used in combat. They can be learnt through classes tab and can be equipped in the square slots in the skills GUI. You can modify and enhance skills by uh, either leveling them up or linking them to support gems, which can go in the circular slots. These can increase the resource cost power of the linked soul gems. Uh, skills have a, min a maximum number of support gems. They can be linked. Uh, see support slots. The number of pockets a skill can have. Yeah, this is just a lot. I'm just going to... Uh, burn chance support, burn crit support. Take a burn chance, I guess. Choice reward, mana regen or regen mana. In Minecraft, health is your life source or life force, and if it hits zero, your character will die. In CTE2, you don't lose equipment on death, but you will lose a good chunk of your experience. Character defenses can be classified into three categories armor, uh, dodge. The so armor is plate, dodge is leather, magic is. magic shield is cloth. Um. Armor reduces physical damage taken. There are other ways to migrate, mitigate damage. Talent tree. I'm gonna go cloth. That wants me to block. Tomes are the magic shield. Okay, so you need more intelligence. Not what I was going for. Alright, that one did drop a staff. Ooh, I can use this one. All right, let's go back inside. Oh.
I think I'm gonna stay in first person. Toss all of that into there. Um, go into there. We don't have enough intelligence for this armor just yet, but when we do, we're gonna equip it. And I think heal strength cast. All right. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Uh, next episode, we're going to just continue along. Um, definitely uh, having fun with it so far. Um, still got a lot to learn but we'll we'll get there uh but with that hope you guys have a great day i will see you in the next one see ya